sailors and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. In jeder Stunde, an jedem Tag, Sieg Feier! ...two grenades. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on this piece, which is the bottom half of this, and then this piece, which is everything is going to be your right low poly. And it's just going to be a simple reference model of a grenade and getting a simple, fast reference design model of a grenade. So... We're going to start off, you're right, with the base shaft right here of the grenade itself. And then work on more depths, in other words, the grenade itself. So what I'm going to be doing, you're right, is I'm going to be going into here and modeling, let's say. So we definitely need around a circle radius that has, you're right, over 16 sides on it, I think. So when we are modeling, we want a circle that's 16 sides, around 16, I would say, 16, like that. Something like that, I would say. A and maybe what we need to do is maybe like double that to your right, like around, like that. So when we are done that in a way, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this base shaft right here and just go extrude like that. Let me try to get the right angle. So like that pretty much right there. And I'm just going to go into here. It's normal. And I'm actually going to probably put a base shaft right here that goes right about here. And what we need right here is at least one, two, three, four, around four segments right here. So we need one, two, three, four right there. So we need to probably put one, one, two, four like that. And you're right, we're just going to go into here and kind of scale that up like this. And it is going to be something very fast and very easy. So we're just going to go scale like that. And you're right, I'm just going to scale that like that. And just scale that up like that. Scale down like that. Scale like this. Scale like this, I would say. Scale. Scale. And that's it pretty much right here. And that's what we would have, you're right, like seriously, right here on the scaling chart. So we have like the base of the grenade. Maybe scale this up a little bit like that. And you're right, we would just go into here and just go like that, I would say.
and that's it basically right there. And just like put a segment right here. And you're right, I'm just gonna go into here and just go, go the vowel right here. Like that. And this is what we want to definitely select as this edge. Go Bavel. Like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select this side right here. And any like small adjustments, we can always edit it a little bit later. So you're right, we're gonna definitely select this and we're just gonna go extrude individual origins, I would say in here. So we have that type of gap in between these, I would say. And this is like one of the many methods we can do while editing this. So I'm just going to go into here. And you're right, I'm just going to go into here and go into the pivot point, individual origins, and go extrude. scale like that extrude scale like this extrude scale like this like that and that's the first part of the grenade we have right there. So now what we have to do is we have to go into here. Face. Right here. So let me try something. So I'm just going to go into here, B, and B right here. B, B I think right here, B right here. Subdivide. So divine. <clears throat> and just go into here and just go X. Scale that down like that, and then that's it pretty much. And you're right, we would just go into here.
just like this. Scale that up like that. And that just extrude that out. Zero, like that, extrude, down, scale, zero, like that, move that right there, and that's like, things let's go into here let's go into here And we're just going to go into here and solid color. Just go go into here and just bevel that a little bit like that. Actually, I'm just going to go into here. Just going to go bevel. Let's see how that turns out first. So I'm just going to go into here and just going to apply a subsurface modifier like that towards it. So divide that a couple of times and then you're right. I'm just going to go into here and just like and just go into here. That's it, pretty much. That's what it looks like so far, I would say. Then any regular change, what we can do. We can go into here and... Just go into here and go CTR, like that.
which is CTR Alt Shift. And what this all uh, actually does is it does a ring selection. And you're right, we just hit right here and we just go subdivide right here. Like that. I'm just going to go edge slide like that and then just select one slide like this actually that didn't go very well edge slide like I notice it's taking a little bit long. So let me try to sing.
Actually, we're going to keep it like that. Sometimes it might not look exactly the same, but that's okay. Actually, I think I have an idea. I mean, if we can, if we can just like you're right, go into here. I would say, and you're right, go into here and like select all of this, and you're right, go into here and you know just scale that down like that. I would say we could fix a problem like that.
sorry about that. I mean, I, I mean, I'm sorry if it takes a little bit longer than it is. I'm very, very sorry. So I just use basically, I think, offset edge slide right there to edit this, I would say. That's what I did with use, I would say. And then I just go dissolve right there. And you're right, I just go into here. So actually, I got a better idea. We're going to actually go into here. This is one technique you can probably do. You can just go basically like triangulate face like this or so you can go in here. Quads right here. That's not going to work. Go J. Hit subdivide. which I'm gonna have to somewhat do these manually because I'm trying to get this as accurate as possible. <clears throat> Where 
right here, I would say... <clears throat> and just go into here and just go scale like this right here. J. 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 Which, you know what, I'm just going to go into here. And I'll just go into here. And just like, I'm going to try something out. Divide that. And just just go go into here and just go subdivide right here. So if I were to go into here and go edge slide right here, this is some of the, 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 the things I can do right here, I would say. Just go into here and
triangulate right here. On your right, just go into here. Quads. So that's one method that you can do. So if you go triangulate and go quads, you can actually try to fix this up to be in a certain way once you have it already done. Which that's what I decided to do to make my job a lot more faster. So I mean, this is the first time I'm modeling a World War II grenade. So I got, like you're right, the bottom shaft of this done already. So I'm just gonna go into here, go triangulate and go quads right here. And it's like, it's, it's like a technique that you can do right here. I mean, if you subscribe to a lot of my channels, you also see the exact same technique done and a lot of other things. But yeah, this is like so far what I have done on the model itself. So I'm just actually going to go into here and just go edge slide right here like that. And just go offset set edge. And just like, you know, go into here. So you want this to be very rounded edge. That's the World War II grenade right here. And 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 that's what I did right there. And the only thing we need to do now is do this edge right here. And go through. Cursor to selected. So Should be an info dialogue right here somewhere. Somewhere around here there should be an info. Birch. So 
So how many verts is in here is over 56 verts. So we're going to have to start making your right. Uh, so right here it says 56 verts. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to start adding your right circle and type in around 56 right here and you're right just kind of go into here and raise that up and just kind of select this and just go into here and go loft So that's what we would have right there. So when we hit loft like that, this is what it does in a way. So strode. Scale, extrude scale, Strode like this, strode like this, strode like this. The valve right here, I would say. So that's one of the great grenade pieces. This is going to be your right, the red piece right here. So now what I need to do is start modeling so-called this piece. So what I'm going to start doing is starting off you right with the cylinder. And that's the next tutorial doing is modeling you right this piece that's going to go right here. 
and you write modeling what is so-called sophisticatedly going to be this piece that's going to go right here on the next tutorial on part two of this part two of this chapter is modeling this piece that goes right here on the sophisticated side so the next tutorial we're going to model this piece right here and that cylinder piece right here when I get back after a break. And we're gonna actually start modeling this piece that goes about right here, which is a handle part. And start modeling, you're right, this piece sophisticatedly that's gonna go right here on a handle piece that's gonna go right here. That's gonna be on the next tutorial on this chapter. So what we're gonna start off is, is we're gonna start off with a cylinder on this thing we're going to extrude that out and we're going to just try to extrude that out of a straight line and we're going to start bringing this out straightening out this edge adding that and then we're just going to start making this piece usually by a uv plane and you're right we're going to add a thickness onto that and start doing using cylinders for this piece right here like cut out holes right here for the cylinder piece that's going to be used right here and after that like on the next tutorial you're right we're going to add the metal the metal green texture onto this like the metal green texture that's going to be used onto here and we're, ju we're just going to start like putting kind of like a three a paint texture right here and kind of like etching away at the paint texture itself after we're done with this, I would say, pretty much. So I guess that's it, pretty much. So I hope you like my tutorial. I hope I can help you out a whole lot. I hope, like, I can help you out a, a whole lot on this tutorial in a way. And I hope you like my tutorial a lot. Please subscribe. Please give me likes, and I hope I can help you a whole lot with this tutorial, and I hope this tutorial helps you a whole lot with getting this job done on how to model this grenade on this program. Please give me likes if you like. Please subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial a whole lot with, in a way. So let me just try to scale that a little bit up like that so I can get the exact replica. So that's what we have right there. So goodbye and please subscribe and give me likes. Thank you, goodbye. And stay tuned for part two of the Blender like grenade modeling tutorial. Thank you, goodbye. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. Denn jeder Stunde, an jedem Tag, 